Hi guys, welcome to 504. I'm Kay Simpson and this week you guys we are coming to you from our new room over here at the church. We're loving it and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about fruits of the spirit. I just love how these uh, categories were picked out so far ahead and now they're just so um, pertinent to what's going on in our crazy, crazy lives. So in the Bible, y'all, Galatians 5, 22, 23, it talks about, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit. It's the Holy Spirit, guys. When my kids were in, um, when they were younger and they were in youth, we had a song all about the fruits of the Spirit. I wish I could sing it to you, but I'm not. I'm going to save you. But the fruits are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. You guys, I asked um, a few people, you know, if you had to speak about the fruits of the Spirit, what first comes to your mind? And my daughter said what was helpful for her is when she finally learned and finally figured out that we all actually have the fruits of the Spirit. They're actually in us. It's not something we have to beg for. It's just whether or not we choose to use them or whether or not we choose to walk in them. It's like, you know, we all have arm muscles and we all have leg muscles. It kind of reminded me of that, but it's whether or not we choose to strengthen them, we choose to work them out, or we just choose to sit around and let them go, you know, loose and noodly. So, you know, that's how the fruit is. It's what we decide to do with it and what, because it's already inside of us. We already have these fruits of the Spirit when we have the Holy Spirit. Um, I also asked another friend, I said, if you had to talk about the fruits of the Spirit, what would you talk about? And she reminded me, we're doing the um, School of Discipleship together, and she reminded me how when you talk about, you know, binding something and displacing it, you know, getting rid of something in your life, how you have to replace it with something else. And the um, teacher reminded us we could replace it with the fruits of the Spirit. So like if we're suffering with depression, we could replace that with joy. Or if we're suffering with worry, which a lot of us are at this time, we could replace that with peace. So I just love that concept and that wisdom for the fruits of the Spirit. I'm going to talk about each one just real quick, just a point about each fruit. And just to kind of, you know, remind us all, it was a good reminder for me. So the first one, the first thing I want to remind you of, guys, is um, it's not the fruit of our church. It is not the fruit of our pastor. It is not the fruit of our selves. It is the fruit of the Spirit. So only through the Holy Spirit do we have this fruit, and He's the one that manifests it in us. So we just have to be willing vessels, right? All right, so the first one is love, you guys. Love is the first one on the list. I don't think that's an accident. Um, it's not a feeling. It is a choice. And this is this love is referring to divine love. So we can choose who we love, what we love, and how we love them. We can get on top of our own emotions, and we do not have to wait until we feel those loving feelings because sometimes they just do not come. Sometimes it's just hard. So this uh, fruit of love can come out when we need it the most. The next one is joy. You guys, worldly joy is fleeting. It can be fun, but it's going to be fleeting. Um, but joy in the Lord, you guys, is where we find our strength. And this joy is not limited. It can overflow onto others and out there in the world. So it's just a different kind of joy. And peace. Right now, who needs some peace? I know I do. We all need some extra peace, um, whatever it takes. So his peace is what we can lean on. His peace subdues all those worries, and it's you know it gives us quietness. It gives us a chance to reflect, and um, I could use a whole lot of that myself right now. Patience—that's almost a terrible word to like pray for or wish for, because you know you're going to get some more. Um, but this patient, you guys, endures. It does not stop depending on our circumstances. It is long suffering, and it is worth persevering in. And then the next one is kindness, and that is not just being kind, you know, when it's convenient or um, having that kindness. We also have to be aware of sharing the kindness. We can behave kind to others, and sometimes that is a challenge, so we can lean on that kindness to do that. And goodness actually kind of comes along with kindness as well. It's a lot about um your moral uh, compass, your moral excellence, but it's just basically being good. And how many of us know we can't really do that on our own? Or at least I cannot. Uh, faithfulness, this is faithfulness that prevails. It is obedient to the spirit. It is not our sinful desires. It is the worldly desires. Gentleness comes from our hearts. It is grace of the soul. I love that description. 
and having our strength under control. It is so important for unity to show grace to each other and to others, especially right now when it's just so chaotic and crazy. And the last one I think probably should be first because it's going to end up, I think, being one of the most important ones, and that's self-control. It really requires strength of the spirit. And it's saying no to the flesh when we want to go off to the person in the grocery line or in the gas line and, you know, letting the spirit have the power for us to keep that um, emotion under control when we would rather not. So I just want to encourage everyone to remember that we do not have this power on our own. It is really through the Holy Spirit. It lives in us. It makes all of this possible. And I'm just so thankful for it myself. So if you're lost, if you're listening to this, somehow you managed to come and hear what we were having to say today, like what is this woman talking about? You know, we would just love to have a conversation with any of you about Jesus, about the Holy Spirit. Not that we really have all the answers, uh, but we just know where our hope is found, and we love sharing that with others. So right now, we all need a little bit of hope, a little more hope. We do not know what tomorrow is going to be bringing Um, What the world is pointing us to is fear, and we're just choosing here to have faith over that fear. Um, It may be the perfect time for your best yes to Jesus. So if you've just been thinking about that, you're feeling like the Lord is wooing you, you can comment here. You can send us a message here at the church. If you go on the website, there's all kind of forms to fill out, and we will get the message and get back to you. We would love nothing more than to come alongside you on this journey um, as we explore the fruits of the Spirit, you guys. Um, So I hope that explained a little bit more to you. It helped me to kind of go through it myself just to know that we have that in us and we have that available to us. And the more we use it, the more it will be strengthened. So let me pray for us and then we'll send us on our day. Lord, bring us all these fruits of the Spirit. Let us not um, forget that we have access to them. And when we get into a situation where we feel like it could go out of control, give us that self-control. Give us the joy and the love to show others as well and bring it in gentleness and kindness and just show your love to everyone else. And I just pray, Lord, if there are those out there that are searching for you, that they will not hesitate in reaching out and letting us or whoever, a close friend, or um, any type of mentor, walk them through these steps so that they too, that we all can be fruits of the Holy Spirit. We just love you, Lord. We just thank you um, for this journey. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, have an amazing day and let us know if we can do anything to help you. Thanks so much.